Hi, my name is Alex, and today I'm gonna show you how to draw a cartoon dino using GIMP. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new layer to draw the shape. And I'm gonna use the Path tool for that. First you do the big round nose, then draw a small bump for the head, and finally draw the long neck, going a little below the bottom line. Stroke the path and here we go. Next I'm gonna draw the teeth. I just make three curved triangles sticking downwards from the bottom of the head. And for the teeth, stroke the path with a little thinner line. Then convert it to selection. And now we are gonna fill the teeth with white. I'm gonna use a separate layer for coloring. Next, grab the pass tool again and in the shape layer, I'm gonna draw the nostrils. Just add a couple of ovals here, and then stroke the path. Next, another pair of ovals for the eyes. Then stroke the lines, take the brush tool and put a couple of dots for each pupil. Next I'm gonna add a new layer for coloring. To select parts for coloring, I'm gonna use the fuzzy select tool with the high threshold value. Select the dino part, then go over here and change the foreground and background colors to light and dark yellow-green. Take the Blend tool and drag within the selection. And here we go. Next, let's add a new layer for shading. I'm just gonna use the Path tool to isolate some areas for darkening. It's gonna be the bottom part of the head and the right part of the neck. Turn the paths to selections and fill them in with black. Make sure to lower the opacity of the layer. Next, we're gonna need a new layer for highlights. Take the path tool and add a couple of triangles on the head uh, for the highlights. Then fill them in with white and lower the opacity. One minor thing here is not to leave the nostrils and eyes empty but fill them in with some appropriate color. Finally, I'm gonna add a new layer for these pots. And to draw these pots, there is one little trick here. First, you just draw a single spot on the neck. I'm just gonna draw an oval, stroke the path with brown and fill it in with yellow. Next, take the Rectangle Select tool, select the spot, copy it to the clipboard, and now you can use it for the brush tool. Switch to the brush tool and draw as many spots as you need. Adjust the size of the brush to change the size of the spots. And the last little thing to do here is to fill the eyes with white. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you may also like some of my other videos. Thanks for watching, bye!